Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm really excited because I have a super, super fun unboxing for you all. Um, I'm going to be opening up some Happy Meal toys and reviewing them for you guys, but I'm super pumped and excited because some of these toys are really super nostalgic for me because they came out when I was a kid and I actually owned one of them, but I lost it as the years went by. So um, it sucked, but I'm happy because now I get to own all of them again and enjoy them again. So I'm really happy about it. But anyway... I will just get into it now before I start rambling. So this is the box. Um, I already opened it off camera because I didn't want y'all to get my address. But anyway, I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it. But today we're going to be reviewing Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron toys. And I'm so excited because these are the ones that are really nostalgic for me. So I have these Spirit toys from Burger King. I also have Spirit Riding Free toys from McDonald's that I'm also going to open up and be reviewing in this video. So anyway... I'm super excited and I will, without further ado, I will just get into it. So I'm going to start with the Burger King toys first because there was less of them and also they're already open. Um, so they are not numbered like the McDonald's toys. So I'm just going to go in any order. But anyway, before I get um, started really quick. So these toys were released by Burger King in 2002. Um, they are from the movie Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. And if you're familiar with the Netflix show Spirit Riding Free. It was based off of this movie. Um, this was a really good movie. It was one of my favorite movies as a kid um, when it came out. So, um, And I remembered when Burger King released this set of toys. I was super excited because I really wanted all the toys. And unfortunately, I never got all of them. I only got um, this one and that was it. So it was really sad. But anyway, I'm happy because now I get to have all of them. And it's really cool. But... Um, Anyway, I will just get started. So like I said, the Burger King toys aren't numbered, but I found some reference photos. So I'm just going to go based off of the reference photos. So number number one is Rain. Um, she was one of the main horses in the movie. She was Spirit's love interest, and she was also owned by Little Creek, which was one of the main characters. Um, and she's just a really pretty horse. She's a mare. She is, like, spotted or whatever, and she just looks really pretty. She has blue eyes and, like, this feather thing, and her legs can move. They're, they're sort of, um, what is it? Like, you can, you can move them a little bit. Um, the front ones move better than the back ones, in my opinion. Um, and then her tail moves. But yeah, um, this is Rain. And what was really cool about these toys is that they came with this little binocular base, and these two cards, and um, each one had a different looking base and different cards, and what was really cool is that if you can see in the four corners of each card has these little scenes from the movie, and you would stick it in the, the back of the base, and then you could look inside, and um, it looked really cool because it looks 3D when you look in here, which I will show you um, this when I show Spirit because this is his base, but unfortunately, I don't have the bases for any of the other characters but I did find photos of what they looked like so anyway this is Rain and then I will just show her base really quickly um so up next number two we have the colonel so he was a villain in the movie um he was like one of the main characters along with Little Creek and um he worked for like the U.S military i think or something like that but um anyway he like tried to capture spirit and break him but he couldn't do it um it was really funny but um this is the colonel and these toys were kind of lame because if you didn't get a horse to go with it like it sucked because then you just had like this guy that was like squatting and they're like they can't really do a lot um his arms can move and his head can turn all the way around and his waist can turn all the way around but that's pretty much it and it's kind of like lame and weird if you don't have any of the horses like how I didn't um so yeah that's the colonel and then this is his base which I will show really quickly and then um up next we have Little Creek so he was another main character in the movie but he was the good guy and um he was Rain's owner so you can see you can make them ride the horses too but yeah he owned Rain and um, this is the toy that I actually had, but unfortunately, I never got any of the horses, so it was kind of lame, and it kind of sucked, but um, now I have all of them, so I don't really care anymore, um, but he had the same movements as the colonel. He could turn his waist and his head. His head can go all the way around, but it's kind of hard because of this ponytail thing that he has, 
and then you can move his arms his arms actually move better than the kernels in my opinion um but yeah, this is rain or uh, Little Creek, sorry. And um, it sucks because I couldn't find a picture of his base um, by itself. But I have a picture of all four toys, what they looked like. So I'll just insert it right now. But it's kind of grainy and blurry. So um, I'm just like forewarning you because the picture's not that good. And then last but not least, we have Spirit. Um, He was like one of the best toys in my opinion. This is his base, so I'm just going to snap him onto the base really quick to show you guys what I was talking about. And sorry, I might take a few seconds. Okay, so this is what it looked like when you snapped it onto the base. Um, his tail can move and his legs can move like you just saw. And yeah, um, he was. this was a really pretty toy in my opinion. It was like one of the better ones. He has better movement in his legs than Rain. His, his legs aren't as stiff as hers. Um, but yeah, this is what he looked like. He was really cool. And um, I'll just show you what his base looks like really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll try it with this picture because this one looks really bright. Some of them are like hard to see because they're not bright. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but oh, there we go. So you can see it looks kind of 3D-ish. Sorry, this is kind of like a a bad view because it's hard to see but that's what it looks like on the inside when you stare in the little binocular holes it's really cute um and it looks like a 3d scene it's cool um but anyway that's the little base thing um i wish i had all their bases but like i said but i don't so anyway that was the burger king toys and now i will get into the mcdonald's toys i'm so excited because i've actually never owned a complete set of mcdonald's toys so i'm super happy i get to open these so these toys are based on spirit riding free which is a show that was based off of spirit stallion of the cimarron excuse me i just burped sorry um it was based off of spirit stallion of the cimarron and um i actually really like this show it's really really cute i've watched the first season of it so i don't know some of these horse characters because i've only watched season one but um i'm going to watch all the other seasons so i'll figure out who they are but um anyway i'm super excited i'm gonna jump into this and i will go in um number order because all these toys are numbered so this is number one um this is spirit and i don't know what he does but he comes with little stickers i guess so that's cute so i'm just gonna open him Oh, and sorry, by the way, these toys were released this year in 2020 in, like, January, I believed. And um, I was super, super excited when I saw that McDonald's was releasing them because it immediately reminded me of my Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron toys. So I was like, oh my god, yes, I need all these toys because I love Spirit. Like, I love this series. I was so excited when I found out that the show, that they made, like, a new show about it. Um, So, yeah, I was really super pumped when these came out. So, anyway... Um, I'm just gonna open Spirit now, so, um, so this, okay, so he comes with little stickers, there's, like, him and Lucky, which is his owner, um, the Spirit, Spirit Riding Free logo, and then this little trophy cup thing and a hoof print, and that's really cute, I guess you can, like, decorate it or something, and, um, his tail came like this, so obviously he has movement in his tail, and it looks like his back legs can kick out i don't know if there's like yeah i don't think there's a button that you press or anything i don't know i think his legs can just go out maybe i don't know i'm really confused yeah i think there was no what the heck there wasn't any oh okay sorry i didn't look at the back so apparently you go like he goes like this like you stand him up like on his back hoofs and he can go like this he can rear that's really cute oh i get it you're supposed to like you're supposed to like press it by the tail but it's like hard to show because it's gonna this is what you do so say like this is where you would put his feet on the on the ground and then you press the tail down and he rears up that's super cute omg so yeah anyway this is spirit um this is number one and then um for number two number two we have this little cutie this is mystery and this is one of the horses that i do not know but i'm excited because it looks like you can brush her hair so <coughs> this is mystery she also comes with some stickers she has 
this like logo which I'm assuming is like from Spirit Writing Academy which is another show that's on Netflix and she has a ribbon and another hoof print or another um horseshoe thing so that's cute and the Spirit logo um and then this is so cute so with this toy all you do is just it looks like you just brush your hair um you can brush your little tail because it's actually real um like hair you guys i'm super excited because the um spirit stallion of the cimarron toys just had molded tails like um like this they didn't have real fur so i mean real hair so i'm super excited because you can like comb the little their little tail that's so cute so this is mystery um i'm not sure what type of horse she is or i'm assuming it's a girl i don't even know if this is a girl or a boy i'm just calling it a she but um anyway i don't know what type of horse they are because i haven't um seen her seen them yet in the series but um yeah but that's really cute so that's mystery um and then number three is chica linda and uh, you guys so i'm really irritated by this so um the proper way that you say her name is chica linda um i'm hispanic i'm mexican so i know how to say it but in the show it's so annoying because they call her chica linda and that's like so white that's not how you say it it's chica linda so i'm gonna call her that um and they also call senior carrots they call him senior carrots that's so annoying like it's not how you say it it's senior carrots but anyway um that's just like a funny fact because it's so annoying every time um, her, her owner, Prue, says her name. It's so annoying to me. She's like, Chica Linda, and it sounds so white. But anyway, this is Chica Linda, and, um, she, I forgot what kind of horse she is, but, um, it looks like her little leg can kick up, and she also comes with these, um, stickers. So, she has the same ones as Spirit. So, she, so this is, um, Chica Linda and Prue. Um, this is a little horseshoe thing, a trophy cup, and the spirit logo. So, that's really cute. So, let me look really quick what she does. Oh, so I think you're just supposed to set her down and then press on her. So, you press on her and she goes like this. Like, you put her on the table and press on, press down on her and she goes like this. That's really cute. Um, she actually looks really similar to Mystery. I actually thought, um, that they were the same horse because... Um, the, with the spirit toy, there's also another spirit toy that is like this where you can brush the hair. So I thought they were the same horse, but no, apparently it's different horses. So this is Chica Linda. This is Prue's horse. Um, and yeah, that was number three. So number four is Boomerang, but, um, I'm not going to be opening him because I already have a Boomerang toy because I actually ate at McDonald's. Um, at one point when they had these toys and I got boomerang so I'm just gonna show him this is what he looks like um this is Abigail's horse he also comes with some little stickers I'll try to show them through the bag because I don't know what I did with mine I think that I may have thrown them away on accident um so sorry so this is kind of bad but um this is boomerang and Abigail and a horseshoe and a little pink trophy cup and the spirit logo so that's really cute and um, all you do with Boomerang is you grab his tail right here and it turns his head side to side. That's all he does. And um, Boomerang is a pinto horse. And so that's really cute. But um, I don't really like this toy that much because all it does is move his head and it's kind of boring. Like the other ones that I've opened so far were better than this. But anyway, this is Boomerang number four. Um, and then you guys were almost done. There's only six toys. Um, Number yay is spirit once again and this is the one that i was talking about where you could brush his um his hair again like that other toy so um he also comes with more stickers but they are different um it's him and lucky again this blue trophy cup and this orange ribbon and the spirit logo and um the uh and um these are the ones that came with the first spirit and these are the ones that came with the second spirit so they're different like as you can see um and then all you do with this spirit again like how you do with mystery is you just brush his little tail fur and ooh, and his tail's actually tingly so that's nice you can like brush through it it's really cute and um spirit has a like tealish comb 
well mystery has a purple comb so that's nice they give two separate combs i kind of wish that all the horses were just like this where you could brush their fur because i personally or their their hair because i personally like that better i think it's better than having like action toys but um that's probably because i'm a girl but these were also the girl toys so i don't know why they didn't do that i think it would have been smarter if they just like let us brush the hair um instead of having action toys but anyway this is spirit number two that you can brush his his little tail and then last but not least i'm so sad it's the last toy last but not least is the cutest toy you guys this is number six this is governor and he is also a character <laughs> character sorry that i do not know i'm assuming it's a boy because that sounds like a boy's name um this is little governor he's so tiny oh my god um so this is his stickers um he has a trophy cup a big horseshoe and a ribbon and the spirit logo that's really funny oh i guess no it is bigger yeah i was gonna say yeah it's bigger than everyone else's i don't know why um but anyway i want to show you guys the size reference really quick so like this is spirit compared to him and this is mystery compared to him you can see mystery is even bigger than him but he's so little you guys and um let me see what he does on his bag really quick so i think oh that's what you do sorry i couldn't figure that out so right here on his back is a little button and you just press it and his legs kick out that's so cute oh my god i really like him he's so tiny and little and cute oh my god um i'm assuming it's a boy by the way like i said anyway um that was really cute all these toys are so adorable i'm glad that i have them i'll just show them all again really quick these are all the horses that i have now um but really quick now i'm just going to compare them with the original spirit toys because that was something that i was really interested in doing so um <coughs> this is the burger king spirit and um overall the burger king toys were much better built than the mcdonald's toys um this one feels much more like weighted and heavy and not as light as these and i don't know if you noticed but in every single um pony that i open they have hollow legs like this and i hate that it looks really cheap and in these burger king toys they do not have that they're just all like one solid piece and they just feel a lot nicer like compared to these mcdonald's ones also i don't know why they made spirit like way darker because he's supposed to be like this color and they made him like way darker oh also i didn't say so um these are actually not the same spirit um this is actually spirit's son i guess from what i read on the internet and you can actually see um he has this white streak down his face and this spirit does not and same with this other spirit that where you could brush his hair um so this is spirit's son and i'm assuming that he is also rain's son because um spirit and rain like were love interest in the movie so i'm assuming that he's also rain's son but it never like specified so i guess he could not be but i think he is but um that's really cute that they like made it be spirit son because originally when i first watched it i was so confused i thought it was like the same spirit from the movie but i guess it's not it's his child um also i think it's really funny because in my opinion rain and boomerang kind of look alike because they both have the same coloring sort of just the only thing that's different is their mane and tail um they have different coloring but like other than that they look similar um i'm really sad that they did not bring rain back in the series but i understand why now because at first i thought like i said i thought this was the same spirit from the movie so i was like why didn't they bring rain in the show if they didn't um if they brought spirit back in the show but apparently that's his son so i guess it makes sense because probably spirit and rain the original spirit and rain are probably dead already i'm guessing um by the time this show came about because it's set like many years later after the movie was but anyway um that's pretty much it i'm really sad that these mcdonald's toys weren't built as well as the burger king toys because that would have been like so amazing these just feel like really cheap in comparison to these but overall i'm still really glad that i have all these mcdonald's little horses now because they're so so freaking cute and they're just like they remind me of um these spirit toys so it's like 
major mega nostalgia and I'm really happy that I have all these toys oh also really quick I just wanted to show you guys um I also think that the Burger King ones were like painted better because they look more realistic the McDonald's ones just look really cartoony and not as realistic but also I understand it's because they have separate like different animation styles but still like I think these ones just looked a lot nicer but anyway I'm happy to have all of them I'll just show all the toys again really quick so here's all my ponies you guys I have so many now and um I'm overall I'm just really thrilled to have all these and I hope that you guys liked this review video sorry that it was so long um but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And peace. Bye. <laughs>